Hi everyone, thanks for watching Lori Wired. So today we're going to get into what is native code in terms of Android and the Android operating system, and how can we recognize it in our Android APKs if we know it's being used. So for some background, Android is actually just a special kind of flavor of the Linux kernel underneath. So it's just going to have some additions for extra battery optimizations, hardware support, and everything like that. But underneath, it's actually running just a different version of the Linux kernel. So when it comes to native code, native code in Android is just going to be C or C++ Linux binaries that are compiled to run on a particular processor architecture. So these are going to be in the form of shared object libraries that can be imported into an APK and actually have part of the code implemented in late native code and used inside of your Android code, which is actually just going to be written in Java or Kotlin. So the different processor architectures that are supported for Android, you might be familiar with already, but the primary one is going to be ARM. But you'll also see a lot of support for x86 based operating systems as well. So especially if you're running on Windows and you're running your emulator for Android, you might notice that it is probably actually running x86 and not ARM. So without further ado, let's get into an APK and see how we can recognize native code in our Android application. So I already have an Android APK that has some native code that I'm going to take a look at today and show you guys how we can recognize what it's doing and how we can see where the native code references are. So I'm going to pull up JDEX and open up my APK inside of here. And let's just give that a second, decompiling. So now we have our APK open inside of JDEX. So where do we start looking if we're trying to see if our application is using native code? First thing I would check is to see if we have a lib folder. So that's going to be in JDEX inside of resources and then lib right here. And inside of the lib folder is going to be all of the different folders that support the different particular processor architectures that this application can run on. So if you notice, this one only has one folder inside of the lib folder, meaning it's only going to be able to run on ARM ABI v7a, so ABI standing for Application Binary Interface, and this is just a 32-bit version of ARM. So if we look inside of here, we're going to see that this has a .so file, libvg.so. So .so stands for Shared Object. So this is actually just going to be a regular Linux binary, a Linux library to be precise. So this could be used on different Linux operating systems as well, but here we're just using it on Android, just like we would on a Linux system. Now, one thing to note is that there could be native code, so different .so files elsewhere, maybe stored inside of the assets or anywhere else that the APK stores files. But generally, the guidelines are to store native code inside of this lib folder. So it's good practice just to check and see if we have a lib folder and see if there are any shared object binaries inside of there first if you're trying to identify native code. So now we've identified that this APK does indeed have a native code binary inside of it. So let's see if it's getting used anywhere. So there are a couple keywords that we can search to try and find in our Java code to see if this native library is getting used anywhere. So to do that, I'm going to go to nav navigation, text search, and I'm just going to search for system.load. And you should just memorize this keyword because if you're looking for native code references, that would be the first thing I would check. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this, this system.load library call right here. So this is the method that we're going to call in Android if we're trying to load a new native library into our APK. So if you look at this system.load library, I'm actually passing it the name of the library that I'm trying to load. 
Now, if you look on the left-hand side, you might be saying, well, that's not the name of it. I can clearly see that it's named libbg.so. But when you're calling system.loadlibrary, it's actually looking for that string right in between the lib keyword and the .so extension right there. So you're only going to include the string that's in the middle. You're going to cut off the lib part and the .so part. And there are some exceptions to this, like if you're using system.load instead, but I'll get into the exceptions in another video. So this is going to be the first method that we're calling when we're loading native code. So that means we know we've loaded a native library into our runtime. So now we want to see where does this get called? And so if you're looking for the references to this and how we're actually using that code, there's another keyword that we're going to search for. So we're going to go back to navigation, text search, and I'm going to search for the native keyword. And I see a lot of different references to this. I'm just going to go ahead and double click on this and let's take a look at what's happening here. So it looks like this developer has put all of their native code references inside of one class right here, this NI class. And this is still within our Java Android code. I'm going to guess this NI here stands for native interface, and that's where they decided to put all of their native code definitions inside. So each one of these public static native declarations right here is declaring a new native method that is actually implemented in C or C++ code somewhere inside this libvg.so binary that we already imported using system.load library. If we didn't call the system.load library, it wouldn't know that we had all of these implemented in native code, so they wouldn't be included inside the Android runtime. But now we can go ahead and declare all of the methods that are implemented inside of our native code. So if I went and looked at this binary, I would find um, different methods for each of these method declarations inside of my Java code. You can see that this one, let's look at the top one here, public static native is just declaring a method named iz that returns an object and takes a class as a parameter. So if I want to see where this is used inside of my Java code, I can just go to click on the method name and hit cross references. Then I'll just double click here. So once we've declared the native method with that native keyword and we've imported the native library using load library, we can just go ahead and call all the methods like we would normally in our Java code. But the actual underlying work is getting done in C and C++. So you can see here that ni, remember that was the class name that our native method was uh, inside of. And then this is of course the name of the native method. And then there is that class that it is taking as an argument to this method. So if I wanted to go back, I could just check all of these and I could see exactly how this application is using all of the different native code. But I'll get into that in another video and show you how we can see the implementation of the native code as well. But if I wanted to here, I could just hit cross references and explore all the different references to the native code and try and see what it's doing. So thanks so much everybody for watching Lori Wired. So today we got into what is native code. We talked about how it's really just C and C++ code that's in the form of a Linux shared object binary that's imported into our Android APK and can be called just like Java code, except the implementation actually is in a different file. So we talked about searching for the system.load keywords when we're, noting, when we're loading that native library into our Android APK. And then we talked about using the native keyword that is required to declare all of the methods that are implemented in the native code. So I'll catch you in the next episode of Lori Wired, where we're going to look at the actual native code implementation inside of Geardra. Ha <laughs> ha